Good afternoon, YouTube. It's me on our George page, aka the Emperor of, I'm gonna say like this, bodybuilding talk is a way. You know, you, know, you can say female bodybuilding talk, but this is more a little bit closer towards um, female bodybuilding talk, but it's generally within the um, realm of bodybuilding talk. Um, this is, I'm gonna shout out to a lady who I've been quite fond of, a beautiful lady, a lovely person, one Miss Jada Beverly. And she dropped me this information um, some time ago that um, there's been a, 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 some good news for you know women's uh, um, bodybuilding. Um, there's a show called the Indiana Pro, and the Indiana Pro was you know it's been a while for a bit, and it's uh, it's held in you know, Indianapolis, Indiana, and it's mostly uh, they had the uh, the debut I think of uh, men's open bodybuilding and the 212 division. Well, Jada just dropped to me that now women's bodybuilding you know, it's going to have a stage. The side, the contract's been signed by um, Dave Brower, who is the um, promoter and producer of the um, Indiana Pro. So this is some good news. I mean, you know, and especially for some women who, you know, who are up, who are up and coming. This is a great show for the start your, start your career with. You just earn your pro card or you haven't done that many shows. I mean, it's the show's going to be, I think they're going to have it around um, May of next year. So that's, you know, so ladies, if you got to start your prep, you better start it now. And, you know, the show also is, it's been, it's live streamed too. So it's great. I mean, you know, I think one show that wasn't live streamed, I remember it was the Omaha Pro. So this is an opportunity to sh you know see the show and see women on on the stage. That's great, you know. And I can like thank Mr. Brower, you know, for you know having the um, the courage to give female bodybuilding a place to you know be seen and shown. And these women, like I said, I respect these women, you know, wonderful ladies, all of them, and their commitment and their passion for this sport. And they sh they should have a, uh, another stage. And I mean, I think more shows should be added. You know, I think more shows should add female bodybuilding to their um, roster, and that's a great thing. So, like I said, shout out to Dave um, Browers. I mean, you know, great guy. I mean, you know, he supports bodybuilding in general, and that's fair. You know, women bodybuilding is still bodybuilding, no matter how you seek it. You mean, I mean, some people say there's not a place for it, there's not a fanship, but there is, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's rebounding. Well, folks, as you know, there's always some good news or something, and there's some bad news or something. And this I just saw the same day is that the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic would no longer have women's physique in their lineup. And wow. That is just some, and you know, they had this on the classic, uh, maybe was it a, a few, about you know, a little bit before the Olympia, and they didn't have women's um, you know, physique on the roster. They had men's open, men's, uh, I think men's classic physique, and I think they had bikini and they had fitness. So, you know, the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic has been around for a long time, since it started around about the late 80s. And it's been, you know, around for 40 years. It was a, it was a, it was a great show, you know, and, and you know, Miss International was part of that. And Arnold, you know, is a legend, you know, being a seven-time Mr. Olympia, uh, actor, a uh, former governor, I mean, you know, and an uh, actor. And, uh, and I say, so I follow him on social media. He's also an activist. But, you know, Arnold really supports men's bodybuilding. And he's not too much a fan of the muscular women. But, you know, this is just, and also, this is just like a kind of slap in the face where now is an invitational, where it used to be back in the day, you know, it was just like any other show. You go there, you compete, and you get a qualification for the Olympia. And now it's all divisions are will be uh, invitation only. So that means that you get invited. That's just cold. You know, and it's go mostly going to be, as you know, the uh, four um, divisions that are, you know, kind of, you know, the standard for now for women's uh, women's bodybuilding, you have uh, fitness, which was starting about the nineties. Then you have figure, which spun off from fitness, bikini, which is a little very more popular, and a new division, wellness. Well, you know, wellness is a new division, and it's getting a lot popular too. And you know, in, in Miss International, well, the physique Miss International, you know, it took the place of women's bodybuilding when um, back in twenty thirteen. At 2013 season, when um, Arnold walked quietly behind them and stabbed him in the heart, and, and women's physique was supposed to be the replacement, to take his, you know, take his spot because the idea of women's physique was to be get away from the look of women's bodybuilding because women were getting bigger. But so are the women's physique division. So, like I said again, Arnold walked quietly behind um, women's physique and stabbed him in the heart too, just like he did to the Mr. National. So. I just saw this also that the current Miss Olympia, uh, Sarah Vilgas, is putting up her money. You know, she's putting her money where her mouth is. She's willing to, to pay to 
you know, the uh, prize fee for Williams Physique. So he's got a place in Arnold. But you know what, sir? I wouldn't do that. You know, I understand that the Arnold's a big show, but I wouldn't waste your money on that. You know, right now they're going to focus on your know, wellness because it's a it's a more, you know, feminine looking um, a version of a, of a bikini, you know. And bikini is going to be popular because the fact is the women look more what the, uh, what we might well say, what the every, everyday John Q likes. And fitness, because even though the women are much more, just about as muscular, but it's not, it still hold, retain a bit of their femininity. And that's why it still has a spot. But uh, figure, I think you better be careful. Because I know there's been quite a few figure women who made the switch from figure to physique. So you better watch out. You might get that same um, knife in the back just as well as when physique did. And you know, ladies, you don't have to worry about it. You still have the Olympia. And also, there's another show, the, the Rising Phoenix Slacks Arizona Pro, where there's a place for women's physique. You know, you, you don't need to worry about the Arnold anymore. And this is, this is you know, this is a good thing. Because, you know, you all, we all remember when the IPB dropped the Olympia, you know, women, female body from the Olympia, you know, the Rising Phoenix took a spot, becoming the, women, the world's women's bodybuilding championship. And that's great for them. And, and you know, like I said, you still have a stage. Just still, uh, you, truthfully, women's physique has more shows, you know, while women's bodybuilding is still trying to get their footing back in, you know, and this is great with the uh, news with the uh, the Indiana Pro adding women's bodybuilding to their show, so maybe a maybe few shows might do it, and you know, I, was, I remember a while back that the New York Pro did the same thing, they dropped women's bodybuilding, they also dropped women's physique, but last year they brought back both the shows, you know, both divisions, and that's a good thing, you know, I see that that's, a, you know, that Beth Francis, you know, who runs the uh, New York Pro, you know, it's fair because, you know what, she was the one who really changed the sport of bodybuilding. And so, ladies, you know, I understand that, you know, you, you want to be at the Arnold uh, Classic. It's still a big show, but I wouldn't worry about it. But like I said, you know what, Arnold, he's, he don't, he, he, you're not in his favor anymore. Because the fact is that the women are getting a lot bigger and they're getting, and, and a lot of women who are worth physique competitors have went up to bodybuilding. So, like I said, I wouldn't worry about Arnold, you know, you know like to, to, to hit to hit him, <laughs> like he said in Conan the uh, Barbarian. You know, and there's some great ladies in the division of, of physique. And, you know, one and only like my, my, my dear friend, Miss Jada Beverly, who made the switch some time ago. And there's some women who probably will go up eventually to women's bodybuilding. But like I said, physique is still a, a good division. You know, I wasn't too big a fan of it used to, well, before, but, you know, I got kind of respect for it. So now, you know, as you know, we have the gold standard of the divisions. You have Miss Sarah Vigas and Miss Andrea Shaw. And I, I mean, big shots to you know Sarah Vigas again for stepping up and, and really putting her money where her mouth is. But right now, you're just in the same boat as women bodybuilding. It's getting, it's going to get, be, it's, you're going to be seeing it. It's going to get harder and harder for you to find a stage for your division, you know. And they're going to try to, well, now we have more wellness and you have bikini and you have uh, figure, you know, and also fitness. You know, women's bodybuilding, women's physique, they're kind of like almost going to be in the same boat. But much respect to these ladies, and I hope that they understand that it's just about business, as they say. This is me all the way to page, a.k.a. the emperor of female bodybuilding talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm out.